Okay, today we need to put or replace the uh, voltage regulator on the GX345. Here's the new one. Just about $80 with tax from the John Deere dealership. Another another John Deere uh, stick it to you in the bank part. So, pretty straightforward it looks like. I gotta remove you know, this bracket here that I use for um, the snow blower and the plow, you know, mount the handles, the control handles and stuff. So I gotta take that off, I gotta take this off, and then we'll have it, it's just right here. So, first thing I need is a half inch wrench. Half inch or, what is it, 14 millimeter? So, we'll get that going there. <coughs> I don't know if I got to take the bolt all the way out or not. Yeah, that one I do. Been so long since I had this off. <laughs> that. I don't remember if I... Maybe that bottom one's just slotted. We'll see. Or, maybe if I just get the top one off, I can get this slid back far enough to... Looks alike, we gotta take it all the way off there. Not, uh, yeah. So that's what we'll do. That oh, sound of a pup. Dropped me nuts, but anyways. So there you have it, that's off. Easy peasy. Yeah, since I got that off, I'll probably just leave it off for the summertime. Keep from busting my knee into it when I've had a few pops. So. Get you off. And then, if I remember correctly, this just... Hopefully the audio is <coughs> working as it should. Alright, so let's see, I'm gonna get you. Boy, it's been so long since I had this thing off here. There we go. It just pops out. That pops out, and there's the voltage regulator. Let me make sure we can see it here. Oh yeah, yeah. There we have that. Now these are 10 millimeter. Plug in right, right here. I've had to change this uh, timer thing, whatever they call it, like about five times. But this last time, I haven't had to change it. Oh, it's been over a year. So, I suppose that's good. Okay, so here we go. Let's get them put on there correctly. I don't know why I have that song stuck in my head. Three blind mice. But, I do. What is it? Hold on. Hmm. Alright, yeah, so now let's see how that's gonna roll. I'm not gonna be able to get that in there. So, let's see. I don't know if this will go. I'll probably have to go get my quarter inch drive. Arr. Let me see if I can get you on. Negative. Alright, I gotta shut the camera off. We'll, uh, let me go find my quarter inch drive I'll be back okay so now this is how I roll I have like every tool needed to do most anything until I need to do something and then I can never find the tool I need to do what I need to do like trying to find a shallow uh, 10 millimeter quarter inch drive socket I know I got like 8 million of them I can't find one but luckily I found a cheapy 10 millimeter combo wrench so um, not what I want to do, it's too much manual labor, but uh, hopefully I can uh, get this prick with this, or I'm going to have to go to the damn parts store and get me a little cheapo, ah, oh, you son of a prick. Ah, oh, you fucking wrecker, wrecker. 
I just ain't figure out. Okay. Here is what we're gonna do. Now that's on this corner. This corner, though, I think. Negatory. Son of a prick. Yeah, I get you on. And I'll use my adjustable pliers. See if I can do it. Like this. Boy. It pricked me on there. What the heat, Jimmy? Come on, man. Give me that. Huh. Alright, let me, uh. Oh. <laughs> Go take one more. Look around, see if I can find what I need, so I'm gonna shut you off. Okay. After a freaking trip to the parts store to get me a new 10 millimeter quarter inch drive shorty, we'll have this off, hopefully, in a jiffy here. I can't believe that. It's amazing. Yeah. I found like. I found like, uh. 5 or 6 3 8 drive 10 millimeters, which when I need one of them, I can never find it. I found 6s, 7s, 8s, 9s. Oh, Boy, that sucker was on there. Figures. Job that should have taken five minutes, right? Oh, that whole plate comes off. Hmm, better put the uh, nuts back on here. Let me do that real quickly here. Okay. Finally got a hummingbird yesterday. One showed up. I'm sitting out here, but the minute it saw me, it took off and I haven't seen another one yet. Alright, that's going to be good enough for now. Oh, for Pete's sake. Simple as that. Now we're just gonna pop this off. Let's look at the new. Yeah, you're on your phone. I should probably clean that off a little bit. So I can see. I don't want to be breaking anything. So it's just gonna push down. That's what it'd be looking like. Alright. Alright, that's it. Alright, I'm gonna go get uh, my de electric grease. This one terminal wasn't pushed in all the way there. I'm gonna go get my dielectric grease, throw a little in there. <coughs> or dielectric, whatever the hell you wanna call it. I'll be back. Okay. Here we is. Just gonna put a little schnat in each one of these. Alright. Now hopefully this will take care of the problem. The uh, battery's never gone dead, but the the uh, battery light keeps coming on, and in the winter time, when I turn my headlights on, they'll dim way down, Whoa, and the battery light will stay on. And I had I hooked up rear lights. I had to take them off because um, because of this issue. So hopefully 
We shall be good now. So, wait, you know what? Is it really thicker? Why is something not looking right here? Wait, what did I? Wait, was that on there backwards like that? Yeah, it was. Huh. I didn't think it was. It's kind of... kind of strange seeming, doesn't it? Oh well. Alright, look at that one. Where'd the other one be? What the heck did I do with it? I don't even tell me. Let's see. Oh, right in front of my face. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Okay, Scooby Doo. Dee -doo, 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 -doo. Good enough. Something like this, you know, you'd think it'd be just a... Well, it should be just like a freaking 10 minute fix. So, as long as you have that shorty quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter socket, you'll be all right. Okay, now let me uh, tighten them up, and then we'll, uh, oh, we'll fire this bad boy up. Hopefully, that took care of the problem. Alright, you heard it here first, folks. These bits be ready. Alright, that's it. See ya!